Hi, I'm Perry Tate from waterfatpoles.com.au and pureh2o.com.au. This video is to show you how to change the filters on a cicada when you get one. Okay, so all we do is open the latches, we'll take one of these fittings off and open it up. Now, the first one we want to change is the sediment. The sediment is always the first filter in from the outside, so it's just a case of opening that up. Taking the sediment out, that'll be brown at that point, grabbing a new one, unpacking it and putting it in. Make sure the o-ring stays intact. Yeah, if you've got some silicon lubricant, you put that on, but don't use any petroleum-based lubricants. So then we'll just put that there and just hand tight. And then similarly, the carbon. So that's what a carbon filter looks like. So just put that in there. Make sure the o-ring, I'll bring that up. Okay, now these have got small drain holes because some water will spill out and they've got small drain holes drilled in the bottom of the case so don't do it on your carpet. Now we want to change the resin in the filter. These fittings here are called John Guest fittings, right? And there's a shoulder there, you see the grey shoulder? So in order to open it, you push the tube in, hold the shoulder tight, and then pull the tube out. Yep, so push the tube in, hold the shoulder, pull the tube out. Now I've got my resin tank. So to fill a resin tank quickly, you just open that up. Yep, you'll we'll take that out. When you go to empty the resin, don't let the water come out first. Go to somewhere, either a hessian bag or into your rubbish bin. This is completely inert. You're allowed to put it in your rubbish bin. And basically, you want to grab it, turn it upside down, and then go like that. Get a whirlpool going, and all the resin will come out. You won't have to hose it out after that at all. Pick it up, just hose out the, the thread, you know, because there'll be some resin in there. Grab your road cone, jab it in there. Try and find some little one litre chemical um, cup. Cut the bottom off, it's nice and soft. Scoop your resin in. Right, well imagine that, and then it's done. Yeah, when it's full, tap it down. And then, now we want to get this in. The problem is, the resin is up very close to the top. We've got a, a head here that needs to push its way through. Now, the fastest way to do that is to grab this piece that I took off the front of the cicada, plug it into the out, the yellow is in, this is out, it's also written on it. Plug it into the out, put your hose tap on there, and then just, you've got to remember that it's going to spin a couple of times later, no it doesn't need to, so just turn this on quite hard, and that will push the water out of here, and allow the head to burrow into the resin until you get there. When you get there, you can take that off and it's quite fine just to screw it down from there. Once that's in, we know that yellow is in, so we put it back into the cicada that way. And we're coming from the filters into the in and out the out, yeah? Then we can just move it that way. Close that off like that. And depending on the tedious of <coughs> me, where you come from, that's good in Sydney, Melbourne, for another <coughs> three to five thousand litres of water. Okay, don't forget to go to my website, pureh2o.com.au.